Today we're making a pop-up friendly monster. Today we're going to be designing a pop-up friendly monster. Before we start our pop-up project, I would like to read one of my favorite pop-up books to you called Yellow Square. This is a pop-up book for children of all ages by David A. Carter. Paper Noodles Wrestle and a yellow square. The fog of art and a yellow square. Uncle Theo's trapeze and a yellow square. All wrapped up and a yellow square. Swirling twist and a yellow square. The cow jumped over the moon and a yellow square. The knickknack garden grows and a yellow square. Doodle on white and a yellow square. Square tubes bloom and a yellow square. I love this book because it has lots of different interesting pop-ups and every single page is unique and different. Today you're going to be making your very own pop-up mouse and you're going to be designing a friendly, happy, silly monster. Let's get started. The supplies you will need for today's project are a pencil and eraser, black marker, white paper, scissors, colorful markers, and crayons. I know that some of my favorite books to collect are pop-up books. I have a huge collection of all different types of pop-up books and so I'm really excited today to share with you a project that involves making our own pop-up mouth. I hope you're gonna have a lot a lot of fun and I hope you love pop-up books as much as I do. Okay so the first thing you're gonna need to make your fun and silly happy friendly monster is a sheet of paper and we're gonna hold it horizontal. That means we're gonna hold it side to side. And we're gonna take one hand, if you're right-handed, this will be your left hand. If you're left-handed, use your right, whichever feels the most comfortable to you. You're gonna pick up that one shorty side of the paper and you're gonna bring it all the way over to the other shorty side of the paper. Then you're gonna hold that down with Mr. Pointer Finger and you're gonna put your other pointer finger on the other side. And you're gonna push that pointer finger all the way down. This is how we create a card fold. So now we have a card, it opens and closes. So here on this folded edge, see we have a folded edge and an open edge, okay? The folded edge is where we're gonna do all of our design for the popping out part. Then we're gonna do some work on the inside of the card. So for right now, we need the card to stay folded. Card stay folded. <laughs> okay, so now I want you to go approximately, look for the middle, it doesn't have to be exact. And you can take a marker and do this, and you're gonna go Gonna make a line. It doesn't have to be a very long line, but it has to be on the folded side and going towards the open side. I'm even gonna put a little dot there. Tell me where to stop. Now, just keep in mind, if you do it in marker, it does go through. But for my purposes, I wanna show you in marker because if I show you in pencil, you won't be able to see. Now, keeping the card closed, card stay closed, I'm going to cut on the line. Oh, I'm stopping at my stop point. And now I have a slit, okay? I'm gonna keep the card closed. The card's staying closed the whole time we're doing this. Now I'm going to bend one towards me and make a triangle. 
and pointer finger is gonna rub that. And I'm gonna take the second one and fold a second triangle. Pointer finger is gonna crease that. This is all being done again on the folded or the creased side of my card. It's going to look like a little shirt collar. Now I'm gonna flip my card over. Oh, I have a triangle. What happened to my shirt collar, Miss Brown? Okay, we're gonna fold it back and make the triangles again. And this is gonna make it so that our pop-up really pops. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back to the original side and fold it back one more time. So how many times did I crease it? Three. One, two, and then back to the original spot. Now I'm gonna put them back together and you'll notice we've made one triangle and two triangles. Now this is a little bit tricky part. I'm going to open the card and I'm gonna put one hand flat on the card. I'm gonna hold that card. It's gonna stay in place. And I'm gonna have the top of the card standing up and I'm gonna take my other hand, the pointer finger, and I'm gonna push those little triangles in. Did you see how I did that? Let's do it again. I'm gonna take my pointer finger and I'm gonna push that triangle in. Okay, I'm gonna do that to both triangles so that when I open it up, don't peek yet, I wanna fold it down. Now it's very important, this part, I wanna crease it really well. So I'm gonna actually use the handle of my scissor. You can also use the edge of a closed marker. Flip it over, crease it again, okay? So you wanna have a big triangle opening now. When I open it, if you did it on the crease side correctly, when you open it, are you ready? Are you ready for the pop-out? Yes, we now have what is going to become the mouth of our silly, happy, friendly monster. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with your friendly monster's face. So we're gonna start with the mouth since we already have that predetermined because it's in our page already. And then you can make some interesting, fun eyes. Think about any way you wanna make your eyes. You can use shapes that you know, you can make up your own shapes. I'm gonna give mine a little nose. My friendly monster is gonna have antenna and spiky hair. I'm gonna think about the kind of feet that my friendly monster is gonna have. Big feet. And I'm gonna have little arms coming off. My monster is only gonna have four fingers. And you can draw your monster in whatever way you want. My monster is gonna have little pants. And then I'm gonna think about where my friendly monster is going to be. Put some patterns, some fun little doodles in here. Okay, maybe my monster is going to be, hmm. I think my monster is gonna be a girl. Give some eyelashes and maybe I'm gonna make the shoes a little bit different. Some socks. And let's see, I'm gonna have, my monster's gonna have bracelets on. You can design it however you want. You want fingernails, all those little fun details. Think about a story. Maybe my monster, friendly monster, is gonna have a pet cat. So I'm gonna draw. Draw a little cat with a white belly. Because I'm going to be 
coloring this in. So maybe if there's a little cat, we should be outside. And let's see. Some clouds. And maybe it's a very sunny day. The sun is shining on the happy monster. Some more grass. Maybe a flower. And the happy monster is looking to pick some flowers. So I'm pretty happy with my design and pencil. So now ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and black sharpie it and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, so you may have noticed that I've added a lot more details into my drawing. And I've gone ahead and erased all my pencil marks, but don't worry if you don't have a big eraser to erase the pencil marks, they're gonna get covered up anyway when you color. So I'm gonna combine materials for this. I'm gonna use markers and crayons. So I'm gonna start out with my markers first. And notice I did decide to add a few patterns that I knew. I'm adding polka dots on the little shorts here. And I added stripes in her eyes. So anything I want to be really bright and bold, I'm going to use my markers for that. But anything that I want to sort of have a lighter color or a texture, I'm gonna use my crayons for those areas. Definitely gonna give her red lips and while you're working you may have to pop it back out a few times because the marker remember is liquid and it gets it wet so you might have to do that I'm gonna give her orange arms I think I'm gonna make her body a different color because remember she is a super happy friendly silly monster so maybe her body should be hmm, I think I'm gonna do it in crayon actually I have her be let's see I'll do the background of this magenta color do you think I should make her her head? I don't really know what color to make her head. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to make her eyelids two colors. Let's see here, should I keep her? All right, I think I am going to make her, should I go with pink, purple, or blue? I'm not really sure. Hmm, she has blue eyes. Maybe she should be green, dark orange. So many choices. All right, well, you'll see when I color her what color she turns. Okay, so 
So, did you guess what color I made my friendly, happy, silly monster? That's right. I gave her a green head, orange arms, and purple feet and legs. Because that's the color that's inside her shoes. So, she's completely finished. I let her dry for a little bit, so now I can fold her back. But if for some reason yours doesn't fold, you can always pop it back again with your index finger or your pointer finger. So there she is and she's very happy and I could give her as a card, I could put her on my wall, I can do lots of fun things and I can even make her talk. So even if you wanted to make a little story or a little film about your happy, friendly, silly monster, you could do that. And I added a cute little cat into mine. Remember, you can design it however you want. Uh, you can put whatever you want in the background whatever features you want, whatever patterns you want, and just have fun making your special monster pop-up. See you soon. I sure hope you enjoyed making your happy, silly, friendly monster pop-up today. I'm so curious to see what you made, what colors you chose, and what design you did for the background. I hope you had a lot of fun, and don't forget, you can use this mouth pop-up to create all different types of animals, people, and characters. I hope you keep on creating, and we'll see you back again really soon. Bye-bye.